Hello and welcome back. Happy end of July to you all. Happy almost Lunasa, Lamas, however you want to say it. Today I have another unboxing from Flying Monkey Totes. This is her Sabbath box for Lamas or Lunasa, however you say it. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's see what we got going on. She sends it in a padded flat rate envelope. Um, and this is how it comes on the inside. I will link her website down below and also uh, the link to order the Maybon box that'll be up. I think by the time you guys see this video, it should be up. And um, she also has several other boxes. She has her crystals and tea, and then I think a tarot and tea. There's several options to fit your needs and she has the best crystal specimens that I've seen from any boxes, like the absolute best. So well worth the money. So let's go ahead and get into this one. And a huge thank you to Sarah for sending me this box. I'm so annoyed because the pieces of shit that live next door, I can't wait for winter. And I'm only saying that because I want my rainbows back. If you guys can see the light is kind of weird, even though it's uh, three o'clock, that's because they have some new little fucking shit in front of my window, so. I'm just gonna find my serenity. Ooh, look at this box. It says Demeter, which I think, I can't remember what other box I think was doing Demeter for next month. So that's right on point. This is beautiful. I love this. This is really beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite ones I've seen in a few months. I love that. The beautiful colors. Beautiful. Let me take everything out so we can have the box in the background. Ooh, there's a large, oddly shaped item, which gets me excited, and a few heavy ones, which are very exciting. Um, we got these little noodles, not noodles, these little peanuts. Anyway. I think they're the biodegradable ones, and I know Horace loves to eat those, so I'm going to hide them from him. Okay, there we go. Very lovely. Hopefully you guys can see them. This thing's a little bit tall, but I think we're good. All right. So first things first, we have her business card. If we can find her. And then we have this sticker and this sticker. And let's see, this is our ritual, so I won't show that, but look how beautiful that picture is. I love that. I wonder if that's her picture from her home. It's very cute. Okay. This is our content card for the spoilers. We'll put that there. And then we have, who is the goddess Demeter? It says, Goddess Demeter, most often referred to as the goddess of the harvest, presides over grains, abundance, and fertility of the land. Although widely known as the goddess of agriculture, she is also the goddess of sacred law and oversees the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. An esteemed deity of the Greek pantheon, the reverence and myths of Demeter reflect the ancient Greeks' deep connection to the land and their understanding of the delicate balance of the natural world. Demeter's influence extended into the realm of sacred law and rites, particularly through the Illusion Mysteries, a series of considerable and secretive concerts held every five years. These mysteries represented the, ab the abduction of Persephone by Hades in the three phases of the ascent, the search, and the ascent. The core theme revolves around the ascent of Persephone and the reunion with her mother Demeter. These secretive and mystical rites held in her honor promise initiates guidance for a blessed life and afterlife. Love that. That there. Ooh, it worked. I didn't think it was gonna be able to stand up. Okay. So first let's get into our incense, which we have oud incense. I like oud. Ooh, oof. <laughs> Sorry. There's a lot of dust in here and it just attacked me. Oh, it smells delicious though. Besides like the oud, which is like a, a deep, rich, like wood masculine scent it has an other beautiful note to it that's kind of head shoppy 
But I think Satya incense, they, they kind of have that kind of vibe. I've purchased their stuff before and I like their stuff. There we go. Some sacred smoke to cleanse. Beautiful. Okay, I will put that uh, over here. There we go. Okay, we got that. And then the next thing we have is something like this. Let's see what it is. I think it's some Palo Santo sticks. Yeah. We got three little chunks. Smell great. Mm. Love you some Palo Santo. And then we have this guy. Very heavy. I feel like for me, llamas is that sabbat that comes by that I always forget about. Like everything in my house is still very much litha. I haven't even bothered to change it because I'm in denial that it's almost August. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe that. Oh, is this a crystal? Oh my God. Woo, this is beautiful. See what I mean about the beautiful specimens? This one has like, I don't know, hot glue. I don't know if it's supposed to be there or if it's just there to protect it in traveling. So I'm gonna try and take it off. I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but look at this beautiful, I'm guessing it's black agate tower. One, two, three, four, five pentagrams on it. It's beautiful, let me take that off, I don't. I'm, get, I'm thinking it's there to protect the tip. They can tend to be fragile. Watch me fuck this up somehow. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible to get this to lift. I think we're almost there. And yeah, I think it was just for the tip because it seems to be very much intact. Yeah. Woohoo! Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> that would have sucked after all that for it just to break. Um, I don't know why I did that. It's very much flat. Black agate improves self-esteem, is extremely protective and grounding, fosters personal strength and spiritual growth, assists in keeping peace during stressful or combative environments. It's a good one to have at work. I always like black agate for its protective and grounding qualities. Okay. The next thing we have, I think, is our candles. Ooh. They smell really good. They have a very fruity smell. Maybe it's apple. Look how cute that is, this little harvest charm. Right there. Okay, and let's get into what is Lamas, or what is Lunasa? The ancient Celtic festival Lunasa marks the beginning of the harvest season, widely observed throughout Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. It is traditionally held on August 1st, approximately halfway between summer solstice and autumn equinox. Lunasa is named in honor of Lu, the god of light, skill, and craftsmanship. During Lunasa, we, were comm we commemorate his skills and talents as well as celebrate harvest. Games, athletic competitions, and performances were held to pay tribute to the god of light and the abundance of the first harvest. According to tradition, this was a time when the first grains were cut and harvested. Connection to the land was strong and crop yield was essential for survival. Marking the first culling of the grain, was an especially meaningful event if there was not enough animal protein and vegetables to endure the cold winter months. We celebrate Lunasa by enjoying the lingering warmth of the sun and bounty of fruits and vegetables yielded by warmer seasons. We enjoy the fruits of our labor as well as bake cakes, breads, and gather our loved ones. It is the ideal time to ask for spirits for assistance with matters of abundance for ourselves as well as others who may be less fortunate. First harvest blessing. Then there's Lou. Where can I put Lou? I guess we'll put him here. Move this up. I 
know I keep messing with this thing, but honestly, it's just too high. There we go. Okay. Now we got this thing. I think probably a sage bundle or something, maybe. The smell of sage, but there's also something there I can't quite identify. I'm not sure what that is. Let's put that there. And then now we have our last thing, which is something like this. Interesting. So I believe this is like an incense holder, but also for like Palo Santo and I'm assuming sage bundles. So you can put this in here. You can put your sticks in here. And then you can put your incense sticks in here. Right? And it catches everything. That's really beautiful. And it has the sunflower like that. Then I'll put this one over here because it's more stable. All right, let's see what the spoiler card said, but that's cold. Yeah, ceramic burner holds smudge bundle, Palo Santo, and incense. Mini Palo Santo sticks. Um, it says positive, negative smudge. Black side clears negativity. White side attracts positivity. And black agate pentacle tower. Um, I guess there was tea. I didn't get any, I guess it was tiramisu. Yeah, no, there's none in here. Which is fine, Sarah, don't freak out, it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so rainbow's chocolate, cocoa, and almond. That's everything that we got in this month's box. I think my favorite item is going to be the box, just because I love, I'm really loving that picture of Demeter, that image. Um, and then runner-up is going to be probably a three-way tie between the box, the agate and this I don't have one of these things and I've always kind of wanted one so it's gonna be awesome to have in my collection and I love the colors it's like blue blending into green just really lovely colors and look at the heart on the bottom are you kidding me how cute is that so yeah very cute box it's inspired me to want to make some bread on the first I haven't done that I think in a couple of years so I'll try again this year but yeah let me know what you guys thought about this box what are your plans for Lunasa and are you going to be baking breads or doing the grand ritual? Let me know. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a beautiful end of July and a wonderful, blessed, abundant August.